What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris with Flip the World. You know we're at the world famous Benz. Look, Stacy's in the car. She exists. She's a real person. This is a two day video haul. Yesterday we came for about an hour and a half. They weren't really turning the bins, so we came back today. Let's go inside and make a mega box for you guys and then find ourselves some tasty profits as well. If you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Now let's get inside. Oh. We've got a lot of shoe bins today, but they don't have good shoes. this Vigos brand. I've sold some before, I just can't remember if it was worth it or not. So we'll at least put them in the bag and then look them up. So we're still without cart, but before I call this day a complete bust, it looks like this dye I4, looks like it's a paintball mask. Uh, Stacy found it, of course but it looks like and I know you guys can't see it I'll put it on the screen $84 plus $14.75 I mean that's that's damn near a $100 find so that's pretty cool looks like it's in good condition just needs to be cleaned all the padding's good so yeah I mean for not having a cart and not really finding a lot so far in the first 30 minutes that's at least something got a pair of cinch Got a couple pair of 501s folded over there, so we're finding some stuff, just not our usual. get a cart and then they bring out all kinds of shoes so we'll get to go through that but look at these little baby crocs they're just adorable oh you could just eat them i could eat you up love finding these allegrias a lot of people here pass on them and then also we got three different pairs a Kohan Grand Zero Grand OSs. The all black, the black and whites, and then the two tone, the Zero Grands. Well, there she did it. There it is, folks. If you don't know what you're looking at, you're looking at very sought after knee high Converse All Stars. Let's look in the used section. Let's start at the top <clears throat> 145, 200, 199. 159.95, 125, 110 plus shipping, 92 plus shipping, 160, 99 plus shipping, 152 plus shipping, 125 plus shipping, 202.50, 135, 160, should I keep going folks? 109, 99 plus shipping, 182, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you'll look to the right, you'll look to the left. Nope, right in front of you is Stacy's $100 item of the day. Yay, Stacy! Weather tech, you know, I don't even know. I need to tell you who found those. Stacy. So the paperwork says 2018 Nissan Rogue eSport. I'm gonna say. I could probably sell these as new, seeing as they have the new uh, glow. $197.90. just for the front two without this one. This one sells by itself for $85. So I guess Stacy's just showing out today, getting multiple $100 items. Um, I guess next video, I'm just going to put the camera on her and I'm going to stay in the car. I did find two pair of. 501 double X button fly 
made in the USA, vintage jeans, both 38, uh, 38, 34. Got some discoloration, so would have to sell them as distressed, but the Made in USA Levi's, especially the 501s, dirty or not, I'm not leaving them here because people like that, that grunge look. So, yeah, I found stuff too. Nanny, nanny, dude. Not 100%, I have to do my Nike tag biology, but I'm pretty sure that's a vintage Nike, Nike tag, Nike soccer. It says, try to have some goals in life. That's a keeper. I don't know if New Balance Sports Bras sell or not. I think I found a couple of them. I'll at least put them in the bag, we can look them up. Oh, that's a Via. That one's New Balance. There's not a lot of people here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in on this row. waist long jeans and then I found these Centurion Conquer the World like I guess hiking pants I don't know we're gonna look them up they seemed interesting enough well, Schumann Sullivan made in the USA it's like just a Fitted, definitely vintage. Looks like Stacy found a vintage hard shell case. These are probably like 75 bucks. going to pass on the cool vantage and the main reason is because they have been creased and ironed and then there's like some oil stains we'll still look them up just because i said i would but just when you don't see them that's why let's see regular cool vintage jeans It's only showing that there's 58 sold. And there's 105, so right around 50% sell rate, which is actually pretty good for jeans. And they sell, it looks like, in the 20 to $25 range. So if they weren't creased and stained, I'd probably pick them up. God dang, girl, what kind of workout were you doing? Found this pair of Reclaim. Yeah, that's the brand, Reclaim America. That's funny. Um, men's jeans, but the, never mind, crotch has been blown out. He made an easy, easy P-way. But anyway, Reclaim, there's 75 sold and 114 listed. So over 50% sell-through rate in the jeans category is actually pretty good. So I would have got those had the crotch not been blown. Out. When people leave their carts in the aisle, I will move them out of my way. And by move, I mean push them to the end of the aisle and or just out of the way. Don't come to the bins and leave your cart in the aisle. Leave it on the outside wall like the rest of us. You heathens. Oop, American Eagle Outfitters. Those do very well in the men's category. Like this, literally a cart in the middle of the aisle, unattended. I could technically just pump the other shit out and take that card. Which is what I'm probably going to do, but I'll do it off camera. Alright, not off camera. It's my cart now. And that's how you do it, folks. Now I'll get a blanket and cover it. Alright, this says House of Mickey. Walt Disney World Resort jeans. That is pretty awesome. Women's jeans size 10. I'm not even gonna look them up. 
Just gonna get them because that's awesome. Oh, and I got a cart. You guys like my cart? I see a Thrasher tag. Thrasher still sells. This is a weird one. Thrasher magazine, Jesus loves you. We'll look that up. That's orange, right? Student in America. Yep, those are vintage. Looks like there's a couple pair here. He's on it. Oh, they're student. They're just not. Orange tail. That's two. Let's keep going. We're gonna get the trifecta. Oh, some lucky brand. Distressed. That's three. What are these? What are these? What are these? Gap. Oh. Come on. Come on. four things from this bin so here's a fun one guys these pants looked weird to me and then I saw the brand this Rattlers brand so the weird look plus that awesome name made me want to look them up yeah these are exactly what they are these are anti snake bite pants for when you go hiking this is so the snake can't bite your ankles when you're hiking in the desert there are seven solds I'm sorry, there are nine solds. $35, 24 plus 12, 25 plus 13, 25 plus 13, 32 plus 10, 44.99, 15 plus 9, 19 plus 10, 28 plus 10. Nine solds and only seven listed, so over 100% sell through rate. We're grabbing those for show. Sure. And again, the newest row is way over there. This is the oldest row here. Still finding stuff. That's how I do it, nice and calm, while Stacy gets crazy. Nice little vintage Wrangler fleece line, certified with pride in the USA. Looks like it's a size 42. I'm gonna go with that being a kids or small human. Probably list that as a, a women's and just do the measurements. We'll look that up. That one looks close. No, it's not close. I have to see the tag. No, that's sport. There we go. Now we're talking. There's the tag. Okay, same tag. Sold for $62.77. That. Let's see what they listed it to. Coat men's 42. They put it as a men's 42, which is the same size as this one. Let's see if they did measurements. 22. 22 by 24. So yeah, it's a very short man. But that's cool. $60 jacket. There it is again for 65 plus shipping. So it's from the 70s. So there's not this exact one, but this is a vintage Shulman and Sullivan wool. One, two, three, four, five, six panel fitted hat. Main USA tag. Actually has the uh, Department of Textiles Union stamp on it. Um, a color block one like this sold for $26.99. So this is cool to just add to the add to the reseller box. Somebody could probably get about 20 bucks for it. It's just really good condition for vintage. And I'd hate to see it just make its way through the rounds and then go to the landfill or trash or something. So just a cool one. And as far as this Cinturon, like, biking or hiking pants, there is one sold. So we're leaving those behind. Stacy brought me her Insanity, so I'll be doing this for a minute. So I put back the um, 
just like the Army SU pants and jackets for right now, just because we've gotten some and they can get oversaturated quickly because every state has an Army surplus store. But these Army Combat flame resistant like dry fit undershirts, obviously this one's dirty and I think it has a, a hole in it somewhere. Uh, so we might pass on this one. But these type of shirts with all the little pockets and everything, there's 280 sold and 319 listed. So it's like 87% sell-through rate. Don't worry, I did the math before I pressed record. I'm not Rain Man. And they um, they sell for $26 to $35 in that random in that range, pretty regularly. So uh, hopefully this one doesn't have any holes because uh, that's that's an awesome. So this is this is a better pickup than picking up the the jackets and the, and the pants because this is something that's more like a, a rare item. Of course, some Gore-Tex, just plain gloves. These are leather. We'll just add some conditioner to make them look a little better, but that name means money almost every time. Got some fresh produce. Looks like some broadcloth capri, like sand dollar pants. Listed for 58 uh, in new condition on eBay. There's, you know, 35 to $40 range, so it's a nice little pickup, and that's a new brand I've never heard of. Fresh produce. New row coming out. Uh-oh. Stacy found a pair of orange tabs as well. 550. Alright, Stacy found this vintage SeaWorld. I don't know the pattern. Wave. It's pretty awesome. I mean again, hats are only gonna get maybe 15, 20 bucks, but that's too cool to leave behind. Nice little insulated Columbia color block jacket. Little ladies medium. Radial sleeve. Made in the USA, so probably vintage. Quick little clean up on that. This is a cool little piece right here. Let's see if I can look it up. Radial sleeve. Alright, so it looks like it's the vintage radio sleeve Columbia powder keg full 32 plus shipping, 29 plus shipping, 30 plus shipping, 27 plus shipping, 40, 15 plus shipping. That person's an idiot. 25 plus shipping. So yeah, awesome. Probably 30, 35 bucks. Nice little Jordash, little vintage Jordash denim jacket. These usually go for around 30, 35. You can hold out for a little extra, but these denim jackets, especially Levi's and Jordache, they do seem to sell pretty well. These vintage men's Tommy corduroy pants, looks like they sell for about 25 to 30. Some people are getting a little more, but those are for the black ones. These are like a dark brown. Let's see what we got. 40 sold and 66, so decent sell-through rate and these are a good size I think they're 36 32 yeah so nice little addition to the reseller box got another pair of these Ariat fire resistant we already sold the other pair we got in the last video I think they went for $24.99 plus $4.95 shipping this is another pair of vintage Liberty overalls they sell in the 35 plus category these have some uh, some staining oxy bath and then since we kept the last pair maybe we'll throw these in the reseller box after we uh, make sure we can get those stains out and then just real quick this Samsonite uh, this is the model 4612 it's basically like a, a makeup travel bag um, vintage obviously it's a good condition if you remember a few videos ago I found one and I passed up on it because the back was a little messed up we're gonna grab this these sell for about 35 to 55 dollars uh it's missing the mirror but i still think we should be able to get about 40 bucks for it and it's it's small so it'll fit in a smaller box and honestly i just i'm a sucker for old vintage i don't know it just look how awesome that looks make that two pair of area okay now it's just getting stupid make it three pair so we got three pair of area fire resistant and we got three pair of the levi's 550 orange tab student there are cases of these like desk chairs 
I went ahead and got all the pieces and I'm gonna sit here and assemble this bad boy and see how much they're gonna charge for it. If it's worth it. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but they got cases of them over there. Voila, I built a chair. Why Stacy went digging. Uh-oh, it's our first pair of Big Star. I always see people grab these. I've never seen them. Of course, Stacy found them because I was busy building the chair. That's going to be a wrap, folks. Your boy is tired. All right, everybody. We are back at the Fortress of Solitude, a.k.a. our storage units. And let's go over everything we got so two day haul i think we got 103 items total and we were there about two hours both days that's about all i can handle before i start getting a little cranky pantsy so let's show you what we're gonna keep uh which is a lot for for this video but then we'll show you what we're gonna go ahead and put in the reseller box which is also a lot so let's switch around <sighs> whoa did you like that footage so we are keeping everything you see on the ground all of these shoes, except for this pair that we got today, already cleaned last night. Uh, Stacy's gonna take those and take photos of, but there is four pair that are at the house that are missing, the really tall Converse All-Stars that you saw her get, along with some other like low top Converse that I haven't cleaned yet. But I think it was a total of 14 pairs of shoes. Obviously we're keeping the Samsonite bag, Adidas golf shoes, Lots of jeans, as always. That's the new category that we're really ramping up. That vintage uh, Nike t-shirt that is now covered in whatever kind of pollen is going on. Just a plain black Nike, just do it down the arm, zip up hoodie, and that 1970s Wrangler fleece lined jacket. Um, I hope to sell that for like 60 bucks, but Stacy was also eyeballing it. And then of course the weather tech with the manual and everything, it still has the parts number. So uh, if I can get this pollen off, we're gonna sell that as new. So that should be around 200 bucks there. So all in all, I wanna say we're keeping 58 of the items and let's switch it to the reseller box. Yeah, that is a nice high pile of denim and then of course the vintage Tommy Hilfiger corduroy so I think it is 16 or 17 pairs of jeans again if you're new to this we factor uh, the jeans that we like to source we put at $25 that way I don't have to go through everyone and show you they're mostly Levi's in the 505 550s these are some 501 double X notice the two X's thus making it the double X uh, you got some women's 524s these are Eddie Bauer and of course the Tommies. Now some of these like these you can get $40 for, but we like to average it around $25 a pair. It makes it easier for us when we do these boxes. These are gonna be shorts, uh, except for this right here. This is a Liberty coveralls. We got a pair in our last video and we kept them. So this one we're giving to the reseller box. Some large gentleman polo cargo shorts and a nice salmon. I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce the L or not. Salmon, salmon color. Um, some Utech or what is it? UB Tech hiking pants. Those are around 20 bucks. Some Tiffany green polo chinos. This is that fresh produce new with tags, capris. These are some Columbia PFGs and then just a nice pair of yellow plaid Levi's um, shorts. We got five jackets, I think. We're gonna go ahead and throw in the vintage Columbia jacket. There's an Adidas AM pullover, a polo hooded zipper or zip up hoodie, an NFL Cowboys raincoat thingy gross and then we're gonna give that vintage jordash jean jacket in the lot as well again jackets i put right around 30 to 35 obviously columbia is going to be more and i think you can get more for that jordash jacket since it's vintage 
two hats we found today that were actually kept were the vintage sea world it's not shark tooth graphic but it is pretty close with the uh the colorway going on and then that vintage schumann sullivan just wool fitted hat made in america tag again hats should be about 15 to 20. these gore-tex winter gloves again a little conditioning on that and that leather will pop back i think you should be able to get at least 20 for that uh, we did pick up that new balance sports bra it is a dry new balance dry sports bra should be able to get about 20 to 25 for that as well and then i think there is six like top items this pima soft touch polo really with polo the only ones we ever try to pick are going to be the pima soft touch and then it's got the colored polo so this should be a quick 25 xl again that uh, flame resistant military issue undershirt with the pockets and all that good stuff that should be probably around 30 bucks we're going to throw in that brand new 2006 harley davidson tag pocket tee the thrasher jesus loves you shirt with the thrasher tag and then that 2x levi's flannel all of the shirts should net you around 20 dollars each so i think it's 36 items total for this reseller box and realistically based off doing the numbers the way we do it with a 25 a 20 piece a 30 piece a 20 piece and a, and a 15 to 20 dollar range there you're looking at right around 800 to 900 dollars in potential profit once everything sells in this box and again if you price them kind of what we're talking about with the 25 dollar area you're going to sell them a lot faster than if you try to get maximum like 40 dollars 30 dollars 28 dollars we kind of tier our pricing on our jeans because our buy cost is so low so we found the sweet spot to where we're selling five to ten pair a day right around 19.99 to 24.99 and we have flat rate shipping of four dollars and 95 cents on our jeans that way if somebody wants to get a deal or free shipping you just knock four dollars off the listing price and you still make that 4.95 on the shipping so if we price our jeans at 24.99 plus 4.95 somebody makes us an offer of $20 plus $4.95, obviously we're gonna take that. We're still getting our 25 bucks. So 800 to 900 of potential profit, two day haul, exhausting going to the bins two days in a row. I don't know how people go every day. Well, I know why those people go over. I know how they go every day. I don't know why they go every day because you know that they're not getting through their death pile. They're just making it larger. But all of this is gonna get photographed today that we're keeping except for the stuff that we need to clean. Um, and then of course, we're going to go ahead and take care of that stuff, get it in a nice box, and it will be available at the end of this video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. No, I wasn't about to say dot com, but I will see you guys on the next one. And keep my wife's name out your mother mouth. Later.